Are you looking to apply to Columbia Medical School? It is one of the most prestigious and competitive medical schools in New York. Its medical programs remain highly competitive with approximately 8,000 MD applicants competing annually for only 138 available spots. In this video, we'll go over Columbia's admission statistics, available programs, selection factors, and more to help you make sure you know what to expect while applying to Columbia. Hi, my name is Chris and I'm an admissions associate here at BMO. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe on whatever social media channel you're watching this from now. This way you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. If you would like us to help you get into medical school, click on the link above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. As a quick tip, check out the timestamps in the description of this video to navigate to specific sections of the video that you're interested in. By the way, we're giving away $50 Amazon gift cards every week to the best comments and questions. So comment below for a chance to win. In today's video, I'll be going over all the essentials you need to know if you're thinking about applying to Columbia Med School, including available programs, academic curriculum, admission statistics, recommended coursework, tuition, debt, and funding, selection factors, and acceptance and waitlist information. There's this one thing that will dramatically increase your chances of getting into Columbia Medical School. I'll explain towards the end, so keep watching to find out. Now, let's get started. Available programs. There are five medical programs offered at Columbia Medical School. The MD program, which we'll discuss in further detail during the academic curriculum section. The Columbia Bassett program. This program divides the standard four-year MD program between locations in partnership with the Bassett Healthcare in upstate New York. The purpose of this program is to help redress doctor shortages in rural areas. Students begin orientation in Cooperstown before spending 18 months at the NYC campus. Beginning in January of the second year of the program, students move to the Cooperstown campus where they participate in inpatient blocks and gain longitudinal experience. Then, three rotations take place in NYC during the fourth year of the program. Three-year PhD to MD program. This program is for students who already have a PhD in a biological or related science from an accredited school in the United States or Canada only, and applicants must be United States citizens or permanent residents. The program is meant for students who intend to pursue biomedical research as a physician scientist and who are committed to a career in a medical specialty such as internal medicine, pediatrics, neurology, psychiatry, and pathology. The curriculum consists of preclinical courses, 16 months, and a major clinical year with electives, 17 months. The usual scholarly project component of the MD curriculum is waived. The medical curriculum is the same as that of the MD-PhD dual program. MD-PhD program. The dual MD-PhD program provides the same medical training curriculum as the PhD to MD program. This program is meant for students who wish to combine research in biomedical sciences with a career in medicine. All the applicants for the three-year PhD to MD program must have successfully defended their thesis by April 30 of the year of their matriculation to Columbia. Applicants should have strong research backgrounds in basic science. Substantial undergraduate research in biology, chemistry, physics, computational biology, mathematics, epidemiology, or engineering is required. The first part of the MD program takes place in years one and two. The PhD component then commences from year three to five. Then the second part of the MD program follows in years six and seven. MD OMFS Residency Program. This program is for graduates who hold a dental degree from an approved school in the United States or Canada only. It is open to United States citizens, permanent residents, and holders of a J-1 visa. Applicants must have already passed parts one and two of the National Dental Board examination before they apply. 
passing the National Board of Medical Examiners Clinical Basic Science Exam is also required. Applicants are encouraged to have taken OMFS surgery externships while in dental school, and research experience is preferred. Note that if you apply to any of the non-standard MD programs and do not make it to the interview stage, you will automatically be placed in the standard MD applicant pool. Academic Curriculum Columbia Medical School MD curriculum is as follows. Fundamentals, 18 months. You will complete the standard coursework of the MD program. Major clinical year, 12 months. You will complete your clerkships. Clerkships are divided into two week long intercessions known as mechanism and practice, featuring classroom based seminar style discussion and teaching. Differentiation and integration, 14 months. You will explore specialty areas of interest through your scholarly project and electives. The MD curriculum is based on four main curricular threads, biomedical information, medical decision-making, public health and systems leadership, integration and management. The program also features various outreach programs. They're available for working with underserved communities. Residency programs are offered at New York Presbyterian Hospital. Fellowships are available in many areas of clinical specialization. Admissions to Columbia Vagilos College is highly competitive. Here are some recent statistics. Overall success rate, 1.76. In-state success rate, 1.75. Out-of-state success rate, 1.9. International success rate, 0.2. Median GPA, 3.91. Median MCAT, 521. Recommended coursework. You must meet the following criteria to apply to Columbia. Three full academic years completed at an accredited college in the United States or Canada. At least one year of pre-med training at a United States college is required. Your degree must be complete prior to your matriculation at Columbia. The mandatory medical school prerequisites are one year of biology with labs, one year of physics with labs, one year of chemistry with labs, one year of organic chemistry with labs, and one year of an English writing intensive course. All prerequisites must have been completed within 10 years of your application, with biology completed within five years of your application. AP credits in chemistry, physics, biology, or English require an additional year at a collegiate level. Online courses are not accepted for prerequisites. The following courses are highly recommended. Biochemistry, statistics, and biostatistics. You should have A's and B's in your science courses to be competitive, with mostly A's. Any grade below a C grade in a course means that the course must be retaken or substituted with higher grades. A few non-mandatory courses will be taken as pass-fail, but you'll be expected to explain any fail grades on your transcript. Tuition, debt, and funding possibilities. Medical school tuition fees are $65,425 US dollars per year for both in-state and out-of-state students. Including other mandatory fees, the total per year is $94,012. The amount of average graduate indebtedness is $122,045. Columbia is proud of its Vagilo Scholarship Program, which meets 100% of demonstrated financial need for eligible students. Currently, about 84% of medical students at Columbia receive some form of financial aid. Students who complete the financial aid application are automatically considered for the Vagilo Scholarship. You will be asked to provide information about family and personal income and any assets you or your family may have. There are also institutional scholarships, inter-school scholarships, external scholarships like the National Medical Fellowship, service scholarships like the Armed Forces Health Professional Scholarship, and the National Health Services Core Scholarship Program. Selection Factors 
Columbia does not accept transfer students. Students who have graduated from foreign universities are rarely considered for admission because Columbia cannot adequately evaluate pre-medical education at post-secondary institutions outside of Canada and the United States. Students who have previously enrolled in medical school are not eligible for admission. Columbia will assess your suitability based on the following criteria. Academic achievement, evidence of excellence and leadership potential in medicine, integrity, ability to relate to others and concern for their welfare, letters of recommendation, extracurricular activities and interests, and personal interviews. As we discussed earlier, the median GPA for matriculants to Columbia is 3.91 with a range of 3.37 to 4.0. Read more about medical school GPA requirements to learn about why your GPA is important and how to make your GPA competitive. Your MCAT score will be an important component of your application. The MCAT range of recent applicants was 510 to 528 with a median score of 521. Your MCAT score is valid only if taken up to four years prior to your application cycle. If you took the MCAT more than once, your highest overall score will be used by the admissions committee. Letters of recommendation should be submitted on official letterhead and include your MCAS ID. The following criteria applies. A minimum of three letters of recommendation is required, but you may submit up to seven. One letter must be from a science faculty member, teacher, or research mentor. Letters are accepted from individuals and pre-medical advisory groups. Your writers should be from those who know you very well and can speak with knowledge of your experiences and abilities. Although shadowing experience is not required, it is strongly recommended. 85% of matriculants in recent years had prior experience shadowing a physician at the time of entry to the program. If you still need shadowing experience, learn how to ask to shadow a doctor to get started. Recent data shows that 88% of matriculants had experience volunteering in a medical or clinical setting. Furthermore, 34% of matriculants had paid employment experience in a medical or clinical setting. The vast majority of matriculants, 95%, had prior research or lab experience at the time of entry. This percentage has increased by 5% compared to previous years. Having solid research experience and demonstrated research skills will significantly increase your chances. Remember that this is one of the most valued extracurriculars among all Ivy League medical schools. Your extracurriculars will be an important part of the MCAS work and activities component of your med school application. So learn more about which extracurricular for medical school you should pursue and how many volunteer hours for medical school you need to prepare yourself. Acceptance and waitlist info. The waitlist is not ranked. The admissions committee reviews waitlist applicants from May until August, each admission cycle. The waitlist closes when classes begin in mid-August. Offers are made to waitlist applicants as spots become available. If you are offered admission, you must mark your status as plan to enroll on April 15th and withdraw your applications from all other medical schools. By June 1, you must commit to enroll. No deposit is required to reserve your spot. Deferral requests are considered on a case-by-case -case basis if you were accepted in the first round. Waitlist applicants cannot request deferrals if offered admission. Before matriculating at Columbia, you must have completed your bachelor's, including all prerequisite courses, send your official academic transcripts directly to the admissions office, your transcripts should be complete, including both the degree earned and the date it was conferred. Submit your pre-registration health forms. Submit your criminal background check. Check out our blog to learn more about Columbia Medical School. I've included a link in the description of this video so you can find the blog easily. 
If you'd like us to help you get into medical school, click on the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video, so please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. If you have any questions about Columbia Medical School that I didn't cover in this video, just let me know in the comments section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget that we're giving away $50 Amazon gift cards every week to the best comment and questions. So comment below for a chance to win. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.